good day everyone thank you very much for the opportunity to present this uh, uh, study i am dr pandala siribaddana from post graduate institute of medicine uh, this study basically focuses on one of the programs that we do at the post graduate institute of medicine and its contribution to uh, public health informatics um, i will explain a little bit about the program first and then about uh, what we did and also why we did uh, um, uh, uh, this particular study um, and how it is important in terms of public health uh, in the future. Now, um, basically this infograph uh, shows that, um, that um, uh, about uh, this particular area of study, which is public health informatics. This is an area which is in, you know, um, a, a, a basically an intersection between informatics research, public health practice and epidemiology. So basically it refers to application of informatics in public health. Now in Sri Lanka, we have a specialty in biomedical informatics for doctors, as well as that allows uh, doctors to become specialist in health informatics. And uh, it is a unique uh, area of study. Uh, any, uh, if you compare it with any part of the world. Now, uh, for those uh, doctors, for them to specialize in uh, health informatics, first they need to do this master's program. This program was started in uh, 2008 um, uh, uh, with funding from uh, NORAD. And so far we have, uh, uh, the program has uh, allowed about 160 plus doctors to graduate with Master of Science in Biomedical Informatics. Now, this is the only such program for doctors as well as a program that generates a lot of research around uh, digital health and uh, health informatics. So recently we were evaluating its potential impact for various other fields. And we wanted to know like how this program has contributed to different, uh, different areas. And, there were arguments as to its uh, potential lack in contribution in terms of certain areas like clinical informatics or public health informatics. So we wanted to know actually how this contribution has been over the last decade. So uh, with that aim, we have uh, reviewed almost 166 theses submitted um, uh, by graduates of this program and analyze these, uh, uh, analyze these um, uh, titles and the abstracts to identify which area of informatics that it has generally largely contributed. So we have recognized about six areas, clinical informatics, public health informatics, then pharmacy informatics, education informatics, bioinformatics and policy and governance. At the beginning, the contributions were largely on policy and governance. And thereafter, as you can see in the chart, that it has changed. And at present, we recognize about 30% of the studies that so far have done have contributed to public health informatics domain. And this is a tracing trend and it competes with the clinical informatics. And sometimes the clinical informatics study focus has been more, but generally the public health informatics focus has been, um, uh, has been rising. We believe that the reason for that is the systems that were set up by the trainees themselves in the previous batches now has become mainstreamed within the Ministry of Health and has sometimes scaled up at up to national level. So this means that the research program has contributed not only in generating research, but it has also uh, helped in setting up actual health information system, which has again contributed to increase in the uh, research done by students around these systems. So we considered that um, we need to further improve the opportunities around uh, the existing public health information systems that has merged through the program as well as uh, focus more on the new systems and um, uh, uh, give uh, support to students to uh, carry on public health related inform, uh, research further because the, the contribution at the moment we think is comparable, uh, uh, is comparable to the other areas also proportionately and therefore we should continue focus. So the take home for the region probably also is that such training programs in health informatics, if it focuses on practice and real life projects, 
it can actually contribute to the improvements or the setting up of health information systems for public health, which can actually be scaled up rather than ending up as pilots, giving rise right to the phenomenon called pilotitis. Thank you very much.